Hey, good day, everybody. Uh, my name is Jay, and this is not yet the official, complete, detailed review of the Fatty version 3. Uh, consider this maybe a prelude or a teaser, but I basically made this video to address some of the questions regarding the design of the version 3. Uh, they call it the version 3, some call it the Fatty Evolution, but you gotta admit that it does look a hell of a lot further from the V2 or the version 1. Uh, it definitely has evolved uh, going through with the times. And on my rival on an 18350 mode with an FSA4H drip tip, it looks awesome. I mean, I can't say much about the looks. It gives it a pretty industrial feel to it. Now, uh, going back to the questions that were addressed uh, regarding the design of the version 3. So first off, you got to one of the things that you'll notice is that the airflow is coming from the bottom this time. Uh, much to the same concept with the old disposable 510s, 306s, 901s, uh, 801s. Uh, the airflow will be coming from the bottom on the Fatty version 3. So from the bottom, it goes straight up. Oh, by the way, you see these other slots here that will serve as your airflow control, but I will save that part for the detailed review. Uh, the top cap of the Fatty version 3 is threaded. Now, this seems a bit off uh, because if my knowledge serves me right, the Fatty was the first one to use a double O-ring design on rebuildable Addies. So this is a huge leap. Uh, in terms of design of the top cap. So as I mentioned, it is threaded. Uh, there is a reason for that, which would also incorporate to my, uh, incorporate to the explanation for some of the questions that were addressed. One of the main concerns is this. So you got your air hole over there with the airflow control slots. And as, I'm not sure if you guys can see it from that angle. Uh, it's a pretty bad angle. But if you guys could notice, there is like a pepper shaker design for the airflow. Now, one of the main concerns that was raised is that, of course, you would automatically assume that when you drip in the juice, it goes nowhere but to the airflow, or rather the air holes, uh, thus giving you the flooding, the bad burnt taste, the lack of vapor, everything that follows with a flooded atomizer. So that was one of the main concerns, but I just want to show you guys the amazing science behind the Fatty version 3. So I've got, first of all, I would like to apologize for the appearance of my wig. I've been tortured testing this baby for the past couple of days, so that's still the same build on there. Uh, but basically, I've got a completely dried and burnt out wick, but it is dry. And I'll be showing you guys where your juice is actually going. Let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but basically the deck of the base is dry. You're not going to see a lot of juice on there. So you're automatically going to assume that it went straight down to the air hole, thus flooding the atomizer. So you got 30 drops out there, but let me show you guys a little something something here. Let me just go ahead and thread on the top cap. And let's go ahead and give this thing a vape.
first point proven this thing is not flooded the air hole if you guys can see it right there is not flooded it is not leaking through the air hole let me go ahead and give this thing a couple more vapes just to prove another point By the way, the flavor is sublime. It is absolutely ridiculous on the version 3. Now, if you think about it, the wick could probably, the amount of wick I used could probably hold around probably around eight drops at maximum but with the amount of drags I've taken those eight drops would have been capiche by now but check this thing out as I thread the top cap out the wick should have been dry by now completely dry with the amount of drags I've taken if you think about it but look at it the wick is completely soaked in juice. Explanation for this. Uh, there is an amazing science behind this. I could not quite show you guys the internals just yet. Uh, I promise to get the review up in the next couple of days. At tops, three days. But I will get it to you. Uh, I'm just doing a lot of things right now. But basically, the overall explanation for this is that there is a reservoir system in that pepper shaker design so your juice does not go anywhere it pretty much stays in this little area right there and because of the threaded top cap and the heat generated by the atomizer combined with air pressure every time you drag on it the juice goes up to your wick feeding it from the bottom with the air on it uh soaking up your wick basically and giving you a perfect vape in my opinion why is it so perfect? Why is the juice so flavorful? I guess it's because of the fact that the juice is heated from the heat generated by the coil from the top together with the air as it heats up. And I don't think it completely uh, finishes the vaporizing effect or rather the atomization process, uh, giving your juice a very succulent flavor in your mouth. It feels like you're dripping the juice right on your tongue. That's how it feels. The same way, the same flavor you get out of Genesis atomizers on a dripper. And this thing could not just hold only 30 drops. It, I've tried it going on 40. It started to leak somewhere around the 43, 44 drop range. But still, that's pretty good. Pretty damn good for a dripper addy. Uh, anyway, stay tuned for the review. Uh, I'm, pro I promise to get it to you guys. I promise. Um... I will be showing a complete detailed review on how to build it, showing you all the internals, all the parts that come along with it, and basically my overall opinion on the version 3. I will also be headlining, by the way, uh, one of the other reasons why this top cap is threaded is there is a new system introduced, which is the heat dissipation system. Uh, again, first on the fatty version 3. It's not really that complicated. It's just because of the fact that your top cap is threaded to a certain point, uh, if you want uh, a cooler vape, something not as warm, if you find that uh, offensive to your throat and to your lungs, if the warm vapor does not suit you, you can thread your top, ca top cap up, uh, creating more distance between the coil and the drip tip. So you're going to get a much cooler vape. Now, if you're a fan of the warm flavor, the warm vape that you usually get from Genesis type atomizers, all you got to do is thread it down. And I guarantee you guys, the heat on this one, the warmth of the vapor, is pretty much unmatched so far. I'll be going out on a limb here, but it is unmatched so far by any other dripper I've tried. So stay tuned. Uh, complete review coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Good day to all of you.